What is up? Welcome back to another episode of Skyblock. I am your host, Different Breed, aka the Mob Killer. And in today's video, we are going to be making a mob farm. Now, the reason for that is because this lovely beauty behind us, right here, is gonna be taking up a lot of wood. Well, <laughs> it is gonna be taking up a lot of wood. It also takes a lot of bone meal to make the wood. So if we hit some buttons here, we get over here. If we look here, right, we got, we actually have a whole bunch. Of, I guess some people have been uh, getting some stuff going. But as you, you know, we build things. It uses the bone meal, and it keeps doing that. Now, the, obviously, the bone meal is not automatically replenishing. Hey, look, I got my hand there. So we only have this much. We have all of these and this much, and that's all that we have. So we are going to have to make a farm to get the bones from the skeletons. So we're gonna have to kill those guys. Now, as you can see, our mob grinder is gone. Apex completely took that out. It was really nice. I, I was gonna do it, but he did it and surprised me with it. He put these up and running. So now we have all six of our stuff up and running. We got the nice jump boost. We got the heart regeneration. Everything is working really well. I put this helmet on. I don't have to eat. I don't have to worry about having low hearts yes everything is good so what we're going to be doing in today's episode is we're going to be building that mob grinder over here i figured probably in this general area would be good we can put the supplies over here and it's easy to carry them over i mean maybe we can build it over here i think over here would be better though uh i, I don't know we're gonna move this sugarcane farm over to where these wooden blocks are eventually so I think it would be a good move. Uh, maybe we won't actually now that that sticks out so far. Hmm. Maybe we'll actually move those over in front over here instead. Yeah. I don't know. Obviously, I haven't really written down everything and figured out where everything is going to go. But we are going to be putting the mob grinder somewhere that I'm going to have to figure out would be aesthetically pleasing. Because that is my main concern and where we're going to be building this since we took the old one down that was right in the middle. And I want to shove it off in the corner as far as I can. Well, not exactly in the corner, but on the edge somewhere. So I'm going to go figure that out and then we are going to start to build it. So trying to design this thing from the bottom up, this is what I came up with first. So I wanted to do something like this because it was nice, small, and tidy, and putting the picture frames over these single chests with the chest facing right out front of you. I think it looks pretty nice. But I also thought maybe we want more than just a single chest. Maybe we want, you know, a nice double chest so we can grab a whole bunch of items from the things. So I came up with this design here. I'm not sure if I highly enjoy this thing because, I mean, they're not centered. You can't really center item frames like this. And uh, I don't know, it's huge, it's very, very big, and I just, you know, we have limited space on our server, so I don't, I didn't know if I wanted to go with this. I asked the wife, she said she liked this one better than that one, so I don't know. But I thought, I thought smaller would be better, so I went and I tried to make this a design, so my thoughts on this are, I want, once the chest is full, I want to be able to drop items out of the chest. But I want to make sure that this chest is full first. And also, I have to make sure that there's going to be assorting items going through here. So not only do I want them to drop, but I also need a sorting system to drop the items into the correct chest. So, once this creeper politely moves out of my way, I was testing out some things and I wired up the dropping of the items. So once this chest is full, the items will drop down. And then I realized something. I have no way to put items into these chests. Like, there's there's just no way. This is blocking it. I can't go up there. So I try to do this right here and put a hopper up here. And I can put a hopper into it. I put a item frame right above it. It doesn't look that bad. I actually didn't mind the look of this. However, I realize that I can't use this. The reason for that is because I can't use the same line right here to line up the sorting system. I need more room for the sorting system, which is unfortunate. So I tried to do something simple and just make it a double chest instead of a single chest. So that's what I did right here. 
I have the item frames in front of the chest. It doesn't look terrible. You can, it's not that hard to access. So I figured, hey, maybe this might work. So I, I, I went and I did that. I did the sorting here, or not the sorting, the dropping here. And then I started to try and figure out the sorting here. And I just, I couldn't really get it. You know, you couldn't really get it right. I got two hoppers here, so I don't know. I don't know. It just, it wasn't working out for me. I still have the one line issue going on here. So I went with the design that the wife enjoyed. And we did this over here. So this is the official design. As you can see, I kind of built a little more out of it as well. And I was able to wire both things up. So it's, it's really compact right here. I have the dropping of the items side by side. Well, I mean, I guess kind of side by side. So I got them both right here. They're wired up right there. And then this is the sorting system right here. So we got sorting, dropping, dropping, sorting, sorting, dropping, dropping, sorting. So that's how we have it all lined up. And it actually works. I'm pretty impressed with it. And I'm pretty happy with it. And then we have the mob grinder. So this is, we have this little area here. Now we have these little things on our server that I put these uh, iron blocks here. We put those there and we can hop up on them. So we can get up into the spot here where this, this little grinder here is a two-parter. So if you want to come up here and get some XP, you can hit this lever and this floor drops down. Or well, I mean, it doesn't drop down, it, it comes out. And then, so the mobs land on here and we can just hit them away and I'm just breaking all my stuff now. So we can just hit them away and this could be like an XP kind of thing. Or if we want to come in here with like a looting sword, we can get a whole bunch of different drops here. And if we don't want to do that and we just want the drops, we can let this floor open up and they can fall straight down onto these hoppers here, which they will instantly die. And if they don't die, we have this hopper timer here that once this thing goes off, which it'll actually go off pretty soon. So once that thing goes off, as you can see, it closes up and then it'll kill any mobs that are standing here. I had a little problem with the witches. They kept surviving. I don't know, they must have different health or something like that. So here I made a little crusher here. So anything that survives here is now going to die at some point. And then once their, their drops come into here, they get shot out of this dropper here along this water line here. And then they get put into this dropper here, which I guess I don't really need this one now that I think about it. But I have this dropper here and spinning into another water line. Yeah, I guess I really don't need that. I should take that out and save some stuff. Maybe we'll do that in the main design. But so then we have this nice glass tube coming down. This is where all the mobs are going to be coming down into this mob spawn here. Hey, it's working. So these guys spawn into here and once, actually I can show you now, now that there's mobs in here, once a timer goes off, because I have a hopper timer on this guy as well, it's not on right now, but once it goes off here, we'll just simply replace it, water disperses from all these things and all the mobs will start traveling into here and they'll fall straight down and they'll die because that's how I set it up right now. Or they can, you know, if I set it up the different way, they won't die and we can hit them out. Now this is the second level of this thing. If I let them fall right into the middle, they'll die no matter what. And I'm trying to get like a two for one in this kind of thing. So I have to drop them down onto this level first and then have them fall down so they don't take too much fall damage. So that's why I have these wonky signs hanging out about just sitting over here. But that is the only way I can think about to keep the same design. It's simple, really simple design and I really like it. So I think we're gonna keep this and then just make this little gap here and then each layer up higher than this, we'll just have these same sign gaps here. And I mean, we can just keep building this all the way up until the top of the thing. This rain is super annoying. So we'll, we'll clear this weather and that's, that's going to be that. So it's going to be super simple to go ahead and wire these up. So I have two levels all wired up right now. And it's if we want to go up, all we really have to do is just, you know, do one of these things up and then, you know, whatever, whatever. It's It'll be easy to wire up. 
And that's that. So I spent the entire day building this on my testing server. Now it's going to be time to go and build it on the actual server. Ah. So what's really making me think about like where I really want to put this is eventually everything. So this cactus farm here, this sugarcane farm here, which is going to be moved. I was going to move it over there, but now I'm not 100% sure where I want it. But these farms are all going to be kind of connected. Not necessarily like to each other, but the supplies, the drops that, that everything is going to go, it's going to go into the exact same spot because we're going to have one huge chest area like this right here. We're going to have one big area that houses like everything. And I don't really want to like put those really far away from each other just because I'm going to have to carry the items. I guess it really doesn't matter. You know what? We're going to put it. We're going to put it in this corner. That's just what we're going to do. It is going to go over here. So let's plot out the land. 24. Wow, that's a big... Oh my gosh. Look how big this farm is going to be. Oof. All right. So thinking about it, I think we're going to actually do it the other way. So we've mapped out the new area and I guess it's time to take part of this down. Oh, man. Okay, so this probably isn't enough, but I have a double chest and some more little extras of these stone bricks. Probably will run out of these, to be honest, and we're going to have to make some more. But I also have this birch wood here. I figured, I think that's going to be a good combination. We'll see. I'm going to use the birch wood as the floor, possibly the ceiling as well, while I use the stone bricks for the walls and such. Also, we are using our... Did I drop? No, I didn't. We're also getting a whole bunch of birch just from what just i'm an idiot just from doing this stuff and waiting trying to get their their saplings so we might as well use it but i think it's going to be a good combination and uh we're gonna find that out so let's get on to building all right so we have a three block gap and then this is going to be the wall here Ooh, i believe we're gonna go one two three four five six seven Eight. I don't know why I'm counting this. I believe this is the entrance right here. That should be the entrance there. So if we go from here, and we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh no, I already messed up. Also, we're gonna need some some br stone brick stairs. Make some stairs go like this, and then so that will go up until. And into the thing now uh, how big how f already messing up again <laughs> I'm really good at this all right so these stairs aren't gonna be included into this count at all it actually just goes straight across now this is gonna be two above the ground here so oh no all right so there's a part that I missed in this build and I did not want to skip it and get you guys confused just jumping right into it and I missed it because my recording software messed up on me so I'm going to try to you know fill you in a little bit. I put in the stairs here and we're going with some birch stairs instead of those stone stairs just because we're going to make it look nice. We got the floor coming in right here with birch so we're going to do the walls with the stone. And we're going to do the floor and stuff with birch. So let's fill in the floor now. If it doesn't, we're going to have to figure out something to do with lighting in here too. Because I haven't figured that out on my single player world. So we're going to have to figure that out. Oh my gosh, I made one too many stairs. Oh, oh I think I made I think I made it pretty good. That was pretty good for just, for just eyeballing it. Oh. Oh my gosh, look at how high I can jump. Oh yes, oh, we can get right up there. All right, so that goes like that. And then we're going to have one of those guys there. And then we're going to have another double chest. And then one of those guys there. Should I take down Apex chest or should I make more? Well, we have a lot of oak, so we might as well make some more chests. <laughs> that should be enough. Oh, dang it. Brick, chest, brick, chests, and boom. All right, so now we're going to need some stairs, which I thought about and made beforehand. All right, I didn't really think about it, but uh, I accidentally made it beforehand. And no time hit. We are done with these, so all of these actually work 
and you can open them up like so and bam so this is it we we measured it out correctly oh my gosh first try let's see one two three four one two three four one two three four perfect so this is great all right so we'll have so 11 chests of stuff and then one miscellaneous chest right here which anything that doesn't get sorted out through here will end up here so something like discs or mob heads or if you know some stuff like that falls out of these guys it will end up in this chest um those things are a little bit harder to sort and i don't think we're going to get a lot of those so i don't think it'll be totally worth it to do all that so or to sort it so we're going to just put them in there but other things like string and arrows and glowstone gunpowder stuff like that will get sorted out in all these chests and they'll be nice so the next thing that we should work on is probably getting all this stuff sorted out so i'm thinking that we are gonna start setting up the system to where i am either going to drop the items out of the chest or i'm going and not or and i'm gonna be sorting the stuff out of the chest so we're going to set that up right now and um that's i guess that's just what we're gonna do so a couple of things that we're gonna need from the shop here in order to complete this build that I just I can't get myself we're gonna need to buy some ice we're gonna need some, we're gonna buy some packed ice here luckily I have a whole bunch of money so we're just gonna grab a whole bunch of that and then what else what else did we need Red, more redstone I just need more redstone is what I need so we'll just buy a whole bunch of redstone just to make sure we have enough and we'll buy a whole bunch of more quartz too just because we're gonna make a whole bunch of repeaters and and uh, comparators is what it actually needs so we're just going to make sure we have a whole bunch of that stuff. And uh, I think we have enough. Okay, thank you, server. I really appreciate it. So I just spent the last hour taking out all of the hoppers out of a lot of the systems that we have running. Because the hopper limit went from 300 to 150. So I couldn't place any hoppers whatsoever. So I removed the big thing of the tree stuff that we had here. And I revamped it to use water. And I got one little hopper there, and then I changed the sugarcane farm to have one hopper. And I took out the hoppers in here. I took out the hoppers for our auto smelter. I took out all of the hoppers for our cactus farm. <sighs> I got to revamp the tree farm to use less hoppers. This is very, very annoying. So now we have a stack, a stack, and four hoppers that are useless because we can only place a stack and 34 hoppers right now. That's all we can place on this map, and then we've completely run out. I've removed hoppers from our AFK um, uh, miner right here. So hopefully we have enough hoppers to finish this build and have some left over, because I would very much appreciate to be able to use hoppers in other builds. <sighs> okay, so I popped over to my testing world to get you know the schematics for these so I can start building these kinds of things in the overworld but i ran into a little issue and i i recreated this guy right here because i took out the dropper that was over here and i ran into such problems trying to get these items they kept getting stuck on this hopper right here and it was very very annoying and i was trying to figure out how to actually fix this and this is what i came up with so we have an entire floor ice up here and we only have two water streams, which is very nice. It's nice and simple, very, very much simplified it. Actually, I can go there. So this is what it's going to look like. And it, it does 100% all the items shoot out. And then they come down here and they get onto the edge of the hopper. Because the items are getting stuck like inside the hopper. And you got to get them on the edge. So what I had to do was I had to make these curves here. So that they slam to the edges and then they fall down so I'm that took a while I mean it's been like an hour and a half just trying to figure this out to be honest but it's finally done so now we get to build our system that we have going on here so first we're going to build the droppers out of here so the comparators that read the chest but they face this way instead. Oh, oh, come on. You can, there we go. 
So those go like that, and then we have the redstone block there, and goes there. So those get some power or whatever they they read off of that thing there, and then we have a block on top of these guys to transfer power over here. Oh, I'm not in creative anymore. I can't just hit the blocks. And then we have redstone dust on this. Is that right? Nope, this is not right. But okay, so this is the dropper system for two chests. And this should actually work. Oh, well, if I actually filled it out completely, it should work. But this should actually work now. So if I put a... So if I put these guys here and I fill up this completely. So if we were to fill this up, we would drop one... Oh. Dropped one item. Okay, so it's dropping a little more than one item. Okay, I have no idea why it's dropping more than just one item, but in reality, it is working. I'm just going to assume that it's because of the server reason why it's dropping like 12 at a time, but whatever. So we're just going to move on from this, and we're going to go ahead and start making the sorting system that we have here. So we're going to need to get one hopper here and then another hopper going into the wall here. And then the same thing on this side. And then we are going to have to get some building blocks here. Go off of this guy here. This guy there. Get some comparators. This is just the typical sorting system that you have going on here. So if you know, if you know a sorting system, you know exactly what I'm doing here. Okay, so I've built this one back here. I will simply build this one over here. It's, it's, this one's a lot easier to see. So this is, whoops, that's actually incorrect. We don't, we can save the block there. All right, so this is just your average, typical run of the mill sorter here. Nothing too fancy about this. If I can get the spots correctly and not actually mess any of my other builds up here. Okay. And then the last thing here is that guy there. So it's your typical sorter. Now, what I've had to do because I wire these two things so closely, you can see that these two things connected so that we got a simple fix for that, boom. And we need this repeater here because if we put, you know, uh, if we extended these things here, I wouldn't be able to do this kind of trick here because there's no, you know, different levels here. So that's why we need to have this repeater here to just just a little bit extend that and so these aren't connected here but that is that's it that is the dropping system and the sorting system on two of these and it is the easiest way to make them the least resources used so i only use one redstone block for two chests and i mean it's it's pretty simple to build you just have to mirror everything and that's that so i'm going to go ahead and build the exact same thing on the rest of these chests and that's it i put i've put them all in they, they look good i haven't tested any of them i'm just going to assume that they work and we will deal with the errors when they come through so now we can actually take off this layer here because we are going to actually be putting glass on this layer so now we'll be able to see the items being traveled along the entire thing so now we're going to have to put some ice blocks down actually no right yeah no what we're going to be doing is putting the regular floor down so the reason why i was thinking about not icing the entire floor was because oh no this is going to become water isn't it Ooh, that's kind of scary so the reason why i was thinking about not having the entire floor be ice was because I wanted to be able to see the items as they travel along. So if they traveled along a little bit slower, you'll actually be able to see them better. Oh, actually, I don't think I iced the entire floor. I don't know. We're going to we're going to ice the entire floor and we're going to see how it looks. If their items move too fast, then I'll slow it down by removing a whole bunch of ice and just putting in regular blocks and then just putting the ice in where it's needed. So we got to start putting things in here. So we'll take our unique blocks. They don't really have any subliminal messaging in them or anything. But we take our unique blocks and then we put them in the four back spots here. 
Now that we have our unique blocks in here that won't ever run through the system, so this won't break, now we can start putting up the items that will actually be sorted. So this chest will, is going to get string. Oh, that didn't, that didn't look good at all. Hopefully the server doesn't start breaking everything. That's, that's not really that great. Uh, that kind of worries me to be honest. So the sorting system is all done and settled. So actually, let me grab an item and let's do a test run. All right, it's working, it's working, it's going. It's going, it's going. Oh yeah. Nice. All right, so let's grab an item that we can actually see. All right, so now we should be able to see the items travel along. Yeah, I think that's good enough. It seems like the, the server is making it slower, so I think that's fine enough. We'll leave it so it's all ice in there, and now we can cover this up. Okay, so I've closed everything off, and let's do our first test. And they should go around and around. I said they should go around and around. So this is the exact issue that I was having with, which is what I had to try and solve for an hour and a half. So that will be fixed when we actually put the top on and put everything together. So for now, we'll just bypass where that goes. And then everything should be going around until it gets to the right chest where it's supposed to go and then it should disappear. Perfect. All right, so hopefully we have some items in these chests. All right. Okay. Not sure where everything is, but this one should have items. Perfect. Okay. All right. So I don't know what happened to the other ones. Let's check in the back here. So it seems like it's dropping 12 items at a time. Which, I don't, I don't understand it. I don't get it. I don't know why. But I'm just assuming it's a server thing. I don't know. But that's, that's just, it looks like everything is working. So, um, I guess I'll just call this done. And we can put it on the top now. But that's going to be it for this episode because we are running long on time. And also, I, I got stuff I gotta do. So, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, and it's, we almost finished the entire bottom, so this is actually looking pretty nice. Uh, we gotta figure out some lighting situations that we got going on here, we're definitely not gonna leave these torches around like this, it looks like crap. And then we're going to put the top on, and once we do that, this thing is gonna be looking pretty nice. I'm actually pretty excited about this. Fill this out, make it look real good, and uh, yeah, so that's gonna be it for me. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I will catch you in the next one next week. And until then, stay different. <laughs>